Hi guys, this is Zealous from Vexed, and I'm coming at you with another tutorial today. Um, I got a message in the inbox, and someone wanted to know how to make a picture like the If I Stay poster, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Alright, so I already have my main picture pulled up in my Photoshop, which is going to be, basically, see the picture of her right here, that's going to be the main focal point, is this picture. Um, I already have my my thing size down. Um, let me go ahead and say before you go ahead and do what I'm about to do, you're going to want to put the coloring that you desire on every single picture because if you put a PSD over top of what we're about to do, it's going to cover the, the holes too. And I'm imagining that you want to keep these little blank spots white or black or whatever color you want to keep them. You don't want a PSD coloring over it. Um, I'm not going to be using any coloring because I'm just going to kind of wing this Someone might do this differently, but this is how I would do it. Okay, so I have my picture here. I'm just going to hide it because I don't need it right now. And <clears throat> I'm going to grab the shape tool right here, rectangle, click, and my images are 500 in width by 610 by in height. So I'm going to do 150 by 137 for these little boxes. That way I can get them to fit across perfectly. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. Okay, so I'm going to position that. That's our first little box. I'm going to hit Control J to copy it. Move it over. Control J to copy it again. Move it over. Kind of give them all the same amount of space in between them. And then I will select, select the top one. Hit Shift and then select the bottom one that's going to select all three. That way I can move them over and get them in the center. That looks pretty good. So I have all three of these selected, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Control J. That's going to copy all three of them. And then I have my Move tool selected, and I'll just move this down. <clears throat> that looks good. Same thing again, Control J. Move it down. Want to get it even, the rows. Okay, same thing, Control J, and move it down. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, I can select this top one and then hold Shift and select the bottom one to kind of move all of these to get them directly in the center of the image. Um, to me, that looks pretty even, so I'm going to keep it like that. All right, <clears throat> so now I have all these boxes and this image. So what I'm going to do with all these boxes is, again, I'm going to select the top one, hit Shift, select the bottom one that's going to select them all, and then I'm going to hit Control J, and that's going to copy every single one of them. While this top copy of all of these boxes are selected, I'm going to hit Control and E, and that's going to merge them. So now I have two sets of boxes. You'll see why in just a minute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and group these ones up here by rows. So I'll select the first three, hit Control G, and that's the first row. And then I'll select the second three, hit Control G. That's going to group them. And this is the second row. Next three, Control G. Third row. Next three, Control G. Fourth row. Okay, so now I'm going to hide all of these, and I'm going to pull my picture down on top of this merged set of boxes, and I'm going to click my little eye, which shows it, and then I'm going to right-click on this and go to Create Clipping Mask. And what the clipping mask does is it links this picture to all these boxes. So now there's big white spaces in between, which is pretty much what you're trying to gather here. Uh, my spaces are a little bigger. You can, you know, do whatever to make yours smaller or whatever. All right, <clears throat> so now when I select these, you can't see that image. That's okay, we'll work on that. So I'm gonna start with the top three first. Um, I'm gonna unselect that one and that one. And I'm just gonna use this box right here. I'm going to go grab an image. I have some pulled up. This one is fine. 
copy image. You can just drag this down to Photoshop, but I'm a copier. Right click, copy over my box that I'm going to use, which is this one. I'm going to hit Control V, and that's going to paste this on there. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is right click and create clipping mask. And now this picture is stuck to this box. Now I want to make it smaller, obviously, so I'm going to hit Control and T, which brings up my transform tools. And when I'm downsizing this, I'm going to hold shift and drag the corner down. If you don't hold shift, you're going to squish, blah, 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 squish or stretch your picture. And we don't want that. So I'm holding shift and dragging the corner down. So we get the size we wish to have for that oh, a little bit bigger. We don't want that black bottom to show. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to hit my check mark and there is our first row of the picture we're going to use. We'll go to the second row. We obviously don't want to cover her face, so again it's going to be this last little box here that we're going to use. And I'm actually going to use this picture twice, once for the crow and then once for her side glance. Uh, copy image, bring it back to Photoshop, Control V, Create clipping mask, control T, hold shift, drag down the corner. And for this one, I just want to get the little crow in here. Okay, I like that. All right, so that's all I'm going to do in the second row. And then I'm going to go to the third row. And wait. You know, let me do another one on the first row. I think that'll look good. Maybe cover her horn over here. I'm just winging this. I don't know if you can tell, but I am. So I'm gonna make this one visible, and I'm gonna get that same picture. Copy it. Control V. Right click. Clipping mask. Control T. Hold Shift and drag it down. A little bit smaller, not too much. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to go to the third row. And for the third row, I'm only going to use the center image. Um, copy. Bring it back, control V, control, oh, wait, not control T yet. Clipping mask. Now, the layer has to be directly over the box. If I move it from over that box, the clipping mask is going to go away. The box that you're using for the clipping mask, it has to be directly over top of it. So create clipping mask, control T, hold down shift, bring it down. There we go. And then the fourth layer. I'm going to use everything but the center box here. Or maybe I'll just use all three. I don't know. Let me see what pictures I got pulled up. That one. Yeah, I'm just going to use two. Okay, so this one. Copy image. Um, this one I'm going to put in this corner box over here. So that's the last one. Control V. Right click, clipping mask, control T, hold down shift, drag it down. That looks okay. Oh, and I just broke it. Try that again. I hit cancel instead of my check mark. There we go. Move it up a bit. Okay, and this middle box I'm not going to use. Maybe I will. I might use that one. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to use the middle and not the first. Okay. Copy image. 
come over the box I want to use, Control V, right click, clipping mask, Control T, hold down Shift, and drag from the corner down. And there you have it. So we have successfully created a picture that is very similar to the If I Stay poster. Um, <clears throat> if I wanted to have a bigger white space down at the bottom, I can. I'll just grab my crop tool here and drag this down a little bit. And then you can Grab a pretty font and tag it up. This is my favorite font. People probably see me use it all the time. And tag that shit. Oh, my font is white. Let's grab a pretty green. So, ta-da! If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comment box below or hit me up on Vext. I hope this helped.